Okay, so I'm going to show you, show you how to use the crane scale. We're going to be doing an isometric mid five pull. Um, one person's on the camera who's basically just going to film the screen to get the maximal force capacity um, value. So I'll begin the test. I'm going to do five five second pulls with one minute rest between each trial or effort, however you want to term it. So that's five seconds of pulling, one minute rest, five seconds of pulling, one minute rest, repeat it five times in total. Okay, so we'll go through it, I'll show you how that's done. So, approach the crane scale, switch it on, see it light up. We're recording in kilograms rather than pounds or newtons. Okay, pick up the bar, keep it taut. Okay, somebody's going to give me the countdown, three, two, one. Once they say pull, I'll begin pulling for five seconds. All right, three, two, one, pull. Four, three, two, one, rest. Put it down. I'm now going to rest for one minute. Okay, now in an ideal world as well, use the lifting straps. We haven't got them here with us today, but it's easy to do, wrap them around, strap it to the bar and pull. That will pull out the limiting factor, which is grip strength. Okay, so that will pull that out of the equation, which better allows you to isolate maximum force capacity in the triple extension. Second trial. Okay, now we're gonna analyze the data. So basically, Mike's gonna scrub through the video to find the peak value um, that was recorded during the trial. There we go. Okay, so he's found, what is it, 131? 0.75. 0.75, so all we do now is you just enter this value into the thing. So, say again, what was it? 131.75. 131.75, okay. And then you're on to trial two. Okay, so I figured I'd just do a screen recording because the, the image was quite blurry um, in the video. So I think this would be easier for you. So we come over to the performance recording sheet. We've just entered this value here, 131.75 into trial number one. Okay, so like I said, you do five trials in total. Each trial should be a five second pull. So trial number one, five second pull, wait for one minute. Trial number two, five second pull, wait for one minute. Trial number three, repeat five times, okay? Um, so you can obviously see here the athlete, the date we tested them, the body mass, and then the peak value in kilograms for that trial. So let's put in some extra data. Say trial number two, they got 130, for instance, 128, 134, and 131. All right, so then you can see here over in the results section, the peak force in terms of kilograms, 134, and you can see this is this value right here, which is trial number four. Um, peak force in terms of newtons, is basically going to be this here multiplied by gravity, which is 9.81. All right. The average in kilograms is just the average of these five trials. Average in newtons is obviously the exact same, but then just multiplied by gravity. And then relative force. This tells you in newtons, not in kilograms, but in newtons, how many newtons are athletes able to produce per kilogram of body weight. So this is good for comparing athletes. Um, against one another because every athlete might have different body mass. Okay, so you can see there, that's basically peak force in terms of newtons divided by body mass. All right, now you can easily change this. If you want it to be kilograms, just remove it from there and add the kilograms, and then you'll see they can produce two kilograms per kilogram of body weight. Makes sense? So it's an easy change. So I just revert it and keep it back in newtons. All right, and... That's pretty much it. That's the data collection process. Then all you need to do is just repeat it for all your different athletes. Let's say um, same date, 19, body mass, 80 kilos. Let's say you produce 156, 154, 153, 167, loads of potentiation there, and 158. All right. Um, and then, again, it just populates as it's going through. Okay, so this one here actually is doing kilograms, which you might want it to be in newtons. 
and that's it done all right so that's how you collect the data put it into your spreadsheet and you're off and then you can compare it and come back to it after the intervention or any time period after okay i hope it helps and enjoy all your testing